Hello out there YouTube friends. I am Cindy. This is Sincerely Cindy Settle. Today it's a Stitch Fix Day. I love me a good Stitch Fix Day. I will have a referral link down below. I will have a description of Stitch Fix down below if you are not familiar. I will also have my items um, and their prices and my sizes listed down below in case you want to request any of these items in your Stitch Fix box. You will be able to do that. So, um, just really quickly, $20 styling fee. They send you a preview of 10 items. You can choose from those 10 items up to five that you wish to be sent in your fix. They will send you those items. Shipping is free. You try them on at home. You decide what you want to keep. That $20 will go towards anything that you wish to keep in your box. In your box, you will have a mailer to return anything that you do not wish to keep. And then you will have your goodies all bundled up nice and pretty. You will also have an envelope that will have your style note and your styling cards, which is one of the things that I love about Stitch Fix there. And I do have the same stylist. So I have been asking for the same stylist just so she can get to know uh, my style. I don't like to go from one stylist to the next, like kind of style hop, um, be stylist hop, because I feel like they don't really get a chance to get to know what your style is if you style hop. So you do get a 25% off discount. Um, if you keep all five items, this is going to be your invoice with all of your prices. Um, and how much that discount would be if you keep all five items. So let's dig into my bundle. It looks like I have a pair of shoes, so let's start there. So if I recall from this preview, I think I chose two items, and then I told her that I would like to have a complete outfit. So one was a sweater, I believe, and the other was a cardigan. Of course, I wouldn't wear those together. So I wanted something that might go underneath the cardigan, um, and then some pants or a skirt or something to go with it. And then I did ask when I had the preview and then I had the opportunity to write a note after the preview, after choosing my two items, I did ask for a pair of like nude collared um, Chelsea type of boots. So I do believe that these are probably going to be some sort of nude collared boot. Just FYI. So let's see what we have. So they are a nudish collar boot. They are a wedge booty. Not quite what I was looking for. A little bit dressier than what I wanted. These are still very cute. They have um, elastic on the inside and outside it looks like. Um, so I don't know that these are going to be keepers for me, but I will try them on just so that you guys can see whether they're true to size or not. Who knows? I might try on the outfit and love it. So who knows? But I am kind of looking for a lug Chelsea type of nude colored boot. Something that doesn't really have a heel on it my bundle. There you see, very pretty. Neutrals there. Um, if you guys remember my last Stitch Fix, I had a shirt that was kind of in that rust collar. I got a lot of feedback on that and everybody liked that collar and actually liked that particular shirt. I did not keep that shirt, but when I gave feedback on that fix, I did indicate that I liked the collar. So I do have a sweater that's in that collar, which I'm excited about. Okay. So here we have a pair of dark wash democracy jeans, it looks like. Very, um, they look like they are going to be a skinny, which I'm not opposed to. They are the Absolution. I do have a pair of Absolution jeans, but they are not the skinny. So we will try those and hopefully they will fit. This is the cardigan. Oh, much cozier than what I even thought. It is a cream collar cardigan. Can see that there looks like it might have it's kind of like a grayish kind of collar so it does have pockets a little lighter than the one I have on now it looks like it's going to be a little shorter than the one I have on now looks like it has I don't know so maybe some collar through it I don't know I can't tell okay and then we have that rust collar um, sweater. And I believe that I have one that's similar to this, but not in this color. See, very pretty. With the rounded, yeah, I do have one that's similar to this in a creamy collar. So this is likely um, something that will fit me because I do have one similar up in the closet. And then they sent me a jumpsuit, not a jumpsuit. 
Here I am with my terminology, bodysuit. They sent me a bodysuit. It looks like it's very cute. I'm just not sure how I feel about bodysuits. So very cute plaid with a ruffle strap. Um, it is a very thin material, but we will give it a try with the jeans and the cardigan because I think that was probably the intention. So let's get started. All right, so here we have the first outfit. We have the cardigan, the bodysuit, and the jeans on. I was unable to get the shoes on. The um, elastic is not real um, elastic-y at this point, so I was unable to get them on. I don't have socks on right now, so I'm sure that that's the issue. So if I get an opportunity to put those on um, and try those on with some socks before I conclude the video, I will let you guys know how the fit is. Um, that's not a reflection of the fit, I don't feel. Um, but I'm not overly excited about the booties, so I don't know that you will see them in the video. Um, but I will try to get those in um, with the next outfit. So let's talk about the cardigan. The cardigan is very, very soft. Um, it is very fluffy. Not, not overly fluffy. <laughs> um, just fluffy enough. Um, it's not, uh, there's nothing special about it. There's no ballooning in the sleeves or anything like that. It is just a very basic um, cardigan, no buttons or anything. It does have cute little pockets right here. It does cover the butt area. So very cute. I'm not sure what the price is, so um, we'll check out the price and decide if this is something that I really need after keeping the last one from my Amazon travel before you buy. But this is very cute, and I don't have one in this color. So all right, let's talk about the bodysuit. So the bodysuit is surprisingly comfortable. It is very stretchy. Um, it has these cute little ruffles here at the straps. There's no riding up or anything like that in between the legs. So again, you know, I have issues here and this is kind of my area of concern. I feel like anything that's more fitted is gonna accentuate that a little bit. Um, so I'm not sure that this is going to be for me, but let me get a little bit closer and let me do a quick turnaround. I do want you to see the pattern. It's very pretty. It's just a black and white, um, but it is very pretty and it is very, um, I feel like it's unique. I don't have anything like it in my closet. All right, let's get a little closer. Not sure how well um, the collar is going to come across on camera, but it is... Uh, this might even be a dark navy and cream collar. Um, has a cute scoop neck there, like I said, with the ruffles there on the straps, which is very cute and very girly, but I likely would not wear this without a cardigan of some sort. All right, let's talk about the jeans. So these are Democracy, the Absolution jeans they are sliding a little bit just because this material of this top is a little slippery but i do feel like these are a very good fit they are just a dark wash jegging with no distressing i do like these a lot however i will say that they often have democracy jeans on amazon and the last pair of democracy jeans that i got i did get from amazon after trying them on from a stitch fix and they were about 20 dollars cheaper so um, if I decide to keep these, I will likely see if they are on Amazon a little bit cheaper. And I'll check that before um, I do my wrap-up so that you guys can see the price differences as well. All right, we have one more sweater. All right, so last sweater. What do you think? It is very pretty and it's very comfortable. I do like it. I have one just like it in my closet in cream. But this one might stay in my closet. I do like the color. And like I said, it's very comfortable. It's just a very basic sweater. It does have this cute curved um, hemline there. Um, just very cute with jeans, booties, high boots. You can wear it with yoga pants, whatever. Leggings, because it does cover quite significantly. So I do like this. Let me know what you guys think. Love hearing from you guys. Now I did get one of the booties on. Did have to put on a pair of socks, even with the socks it was a little bit difficult to get them on. So let me show you what those look like on. So there you can see they are a wedge booty. Um, they are a little dressier than what I had wanted. Um, and they do have more of a gray tone to them than more of the nude that I wanted. 
So they are a little dressier up top. They do have some stitching there that gives it some interest. They do have a rounded toe with elastic panel there on the inside as well as on the outside. So they do feel like they're fitting pretty true to size. Um, I'm not having any slippage or anything like that when I walk. Um, there's not over and over excessive tightness to it. I feel there is a little bit of tightness, but I feel like once you wore them that that would um, wear in pretty well. So these aren't for me. I'm not a huge fan. This isn't exactly what I was looking for, but they are cute. All right, let's get to the wrap up and talk some prices. All right, so I think we are ready for the wrap up. So if you are new here, thank you so much for making it this far in my video. I hope that you will continue to hang out with me and hit that subscribe button and hit the um, like button as well. That is supporting my channel and I appreciate it very much. If you are not new here and you have been with me for a little while, thank you so much for the love and support. I greatly appreciate it. Again, be sure to like the video and share with your friends so that I can get even more viewers. So I do appreciate it very much. So I did not read the style note earlier, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I am interested in what the stylist does have to say. Um, I don't know if you guys are interested in that or not. If not, feel free to skip ahead to the prices, although you guys have already seen the prices. But anyway, all right. Um, hi there, Cindy. Welcome back for fix number 36 and another fix together. I was so stoked to be your partner in style for another amazing assortment. Thank you for snagging some items from your fix preview and for leaving me some great feedback to tie your fix together. I found you some neutral boots to try that are from Tom's. These are the closest I had to some Chelsea boots, so I hope you dig them. They have a genuine leather upper pad that will make them last for years to come. I found you some dark wash denim jeans to try out as well from Democracy. These are mid-rise and, and are perfect for pairing with your favorite tops or sweaters. To go with your brand new cardigan, I went with this bodysuit from Heatherly. Let me know what you think and what I can snag for you next. Cheers, Savannah. All right. So, let's talk prices. All right, so we have the textured sweater. That is this one here. Oh, wow. Yes, I'm keeping this. It is only $22.99. What? Stitch Fix, what? That's crazy talk. I love it. All right, $22.99. Yes. And then we have the ruffle strap bodysuit. This is $42. So again, not a huge fan of a bodysuit. It was a little bit more, I mean, it had stretchy to it, um, so it wasn't like it was tight or anything. It's just not my thing. We have the Absolution Jeans. These are in Indigo. They are $78. So let's get on Amazon really quick and see what they are on there. So hold on. All right, so I think I found the jeans. So when I searched them, using the description on here. I could not find the exact jean, but when I used the description on the tag, I was able to find a pair that are, this is how they describe them, Democracy Women's Absolution Jegging. And here on the tag, they are described as Absolution Booty Lift Jegging. So these are actually on Amazon for $39.02. So, they are on Try Before You Buy as well. So I'm going to try to add them to my cart and get them in my next Try Before You Buy. What do you think about that? And see if I like them. And if I like them, then I will buy them from Amazon instead of Stitch Fix. All right, so then we have the booties. And that is this right here, the booty, and they are $99.95. I don't know what that was. So again, not a huge fan. A little too expensive. And then the cardigan, that is this little number here. Again, very soft. Just not sure if I love it. It is $48. So... From this fix, I'm kind of feeling just this sweater and the jeans, but the jeans, I think I'm gonna get from Amazon and the Try Before You Buy. 
um, because they're like $40 cheaper. So, what do you guys think? What do you think of this fix? Yays, nays, negatives, none of it, all of it? Let's talk about the discount. I forgot. All right, so the full box is $290.94. The buy all discount of 25% off is $72.74 off, bringing my total to $218.20. So, there you have it. All right, I am done for today. I will see you guys again soon. I am going to have, I may have that before. You may see, you may see my collaboration before you see this. So never mind on that. If you've seen the collaboration, I hope you liked it. All right, so I will see you guys again soon. I will have some Christmas themed book reviews coming up soon. I will see you later. I am signing out. I am sincerely Cindy Settle. Mwah.